In this video, we are going to discuss what is a MAC address and what is an IP address. Also, I'll explain it's actually quite similar to the regular addresses that we use as human beings. Hi, my name is Sudhanshu and I'm a CCI Voice Certified Trainer here at iMedita. So let's start by discussing what is a MAC address and what is an IP address, okay? And basically, you know, MAC address is used at a lot of uh, places when you use internet and when you access even Wi-Fi, okay? So MAC address is basically a physical address, okay? It's a address which is burnt onto your network interface card. So suppose you're using your mobile and you are connected to a Wi-Fi, okay? and uh, you want to uh, transmit something so basically your mobile will make a ethernet frame okay with the source mac of the mac address of the network interface card which is working as the wi-fi nick basically here now similar to that when you connect to a physical network maybe your laptop you connect it using a rj45 connector to a switch and uh, use anything on the network basically the frames that are being generated they have the source mac of the device that you are utilizing okay now this uh, address like mac address okay it's a 48 bit address okay and basically they are globally unique okay and in order to keep something globally unique obviously you know it has to be regulated in some way so what happens here is that if you check that the MAC address it has two parts okay basically there is the first 24 bits we call that as organizational unique identifier and then there is the second half part which we call as vendor signed so suppose I as a network card manufacturer have to manufacture network interface cards what I'll do is I'll go ahead and ask IEEE for the first 24 bits okay now I get that first 24 bits from them and then I start manufacturing these network interface cards okay so I might start counting and like 1 2 3 4 and so on when I exhaust this 24 bits the vendor assigned part I can get another range of you know the first uh, OUI okay another OUI range now uh, since MAC address is expressed in hexadecimal okay so basically you can also say that there are two parts or the MAC address is 12 hexadecimal digits okay because one hex equals like four bits so 12 hex equals 48 bits so uh, don't get uh, confused in that okay so we can also say that organizational unique identifier is basically six hex digits and the vendor assigned is six hex digits okay so i've got a sample mac address here now if you look at this the 007123 this part is basically the oui of this okay and if you look at this 456789 okay this is the vendor assigned part of this mac address okay now these addresses are used by ethernet wi-fi okay and next I think you know that's pretty much it about MAC address let's next talk about IP address okay now IP address does not go at layer 2 okay MAC address goes at layer 2 header okay and IP address is something which we utilize when you send traffic from one place uh, one uh, source to another destination okay now it's a bit different compared to MAC address first thing it's expressed in decimal notation okay you don't express it in uh, hexadecimal okay so what they have done is they have basically made a IP address which is 32 bits in size okay so 32 bits even those 32 bits if you look at that it is divided it up into four parts okay so you can say that okay uh, there will be octets okay or each of this 8 bits part is called an octet okay so we have four such octets okay so all in all it becomes a 
32 bits address now obviously you know since there are 8 bits okay uh, in any octet you can have the minimum value is like all zeros okay and the maximum value that you can have is all ones all eight ones now if you have continuous eight ones that becomes what 255 okay and all zeros means zero basically okay so we have four octets and each of these octet is separated by dot okay now this is different compared to the mac address okay your mac address doesn't change okay even when you change the network your mac address doesn't change like suppose i'm connected here at my office or when i go home i connect that same rj45 network interface card again i'm getting that same mac address my source mac doesn't change but when you talk about ip address it is not a physical address it is a logical address okay since it is a logical address it's a very organized scheme of addressing just like you know think of it like regular addresses when you talk about regular addresses there are basically two parts of any address okay uh, suppose i talk about the address of i meditator okay now there is one part which is like second floor aditi samrudhi now this part is unique to i meditator's office okay and then there is a part like baner it's a kind of uh, a locality in pune so then the second part is there like baner baner road pune so all of the people on this same road baner road all of them will have this baner baner road pune in their address this is like a common part in their address and whereas that second floor aditi samrudhi building specific to that building the second floor just belongs to imedita so like you know it's a very organized scheme of addressing similar to that if you look at the ip address they are organized they are logically you know defined as in suppose i talk about an address now there will be a part of that which will be unique for my device and then there will be some part of that which will be common for all the people in the same subnet okay now let's look at it this way okay since i told you already ip addresses are what 32 bits so if you write it in bits sometimes it doesn't make any sense and if we divide this up into octets like you know here this same if we convert it into decimal it becomes what 48.195.69.129 okay this is what commonly you might have seen in those uh, sci-fi movies or you know any kind of action movies where they say uh, where they show you somebody hacking into a system so uh, you might have paid attention to that okay and in any octet the value cannot go beyond 255 okay so pay attention next time you're watching movie if they show you an ip 300 something 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 they are wrong okay now just like a regular address suppose this laptop here wants to communicate with that server okay when this laptop sends traffic to that server what happens here is the source ip that it will use in the ip header for packet will be 172.16.10.99 and destination ip will be of that server 192.168.100.10 in this case when the return traffic comes from server to this laptop source ip is 192.168.100.10 and destination ip is 172.16.10.99 right so just like regular address if i have to send a you know a courier to you i'll use my source address i'll use your destination address just like that okay so that's pretty much it about you know mac address and ip address to begin with okay thanks for watching